You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. I wanted to tell you something about why I was on assignment and, yeah. and missed the last show. Was that? Yeah. I wasn't on assignment. I was in the infirmary. I had two black eyes. What? The yo-yo testing isn't going well. Oh, oh my gosh. Moly. And I was too embarrassed to come to the studio Aww. with my black eyes. I wondered why you had sunglasses on today. Well, because the bruising has gone down, but it's... Can we see? Here. Oh. Oh! It's hardly oh. noticeable. It's oh. hardly... Can you right. see? Can Are you we? able to see things? I can see. I uh, now I can see. Yeah, look like a raccoon. Gary, sorry. Come on, that's not. But the problem is, is that after I was discharged from the infirmary, I was walking home because I was too embarrassed to ask anybody to pick me up in their sleigh, and I walked right into the reindeer pen. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh I heard about that. What? It's supposed to be under wraps. Well, I have a connection with the reindeer, as you know. I'm friendly with them, and I go over there, and all my rejected candy canes, I take them over, and, and there's feed a them lot. To the reindeer? I feed them to the reindeer, and they sometimes they talk to me, and they talked about this episode where this elf comes in, and she start she walks right through the path of their their collective poo. And she slips in it, falls down, makes like a poo angel on the ground. Not, but it's like not on purpose. She's just filleting, and um, and then she screams out in terror. And they didn't go on because then Mr. Barrow came in. Well, I don't think this is very funny at all. I I did not want that revealed on the air, Gary. Well, oh, that's okay. T- the show actually hasn't officially started yet, so. You know, hopefully they didn't go out. We can hit the seven second delay button. I hope so because I was supposed to be helped under wraps. Well, welcome to Elf Centered, everybody. Uh, it's great to have you here, Beatrice. You okay to start? Yes, the show? I'm fine. Okay, uh, my name is Gavin. Beatrice. <laughs> Gary. And uh, well, it's a it's a great day here at the North Pole. Uh, it is the last day of June. July is just around the corner, and you know what that means, the Big Summer Festival. I hope you're all excited for the Big Summer Festival. I am. I am. I actually have a new snowsuit. Did you make it yourself? I made it myself, and in honor of July 4th, yeah, it has stars and stripes and little firecrackers go off of the shoulders. Wow. She's she's so partial to America. She shows up in her costume, you yeah, no, I think that it'll be very festive, and we'll definitely be able to see you in the snow. But uh, I am looking forward to all the activities that we get to do during the summer festival. You know, it's it's kind of a nice break from the you know the the work we do all day. Yeah, yeah. But to go sledding and skiing and you know uh, the building uh, the snowmen competitions. Yeah. Yep. Are you going to join the uh, the pie eating competition again this year? Of course. Why Why would I not have to defend my title from last year? That's right. Absolutely. I ate 14 pies. That was quite impressive. Right. They Actually, I continued to eat after the contest was over. I ended up eating 13 more pies. Okay. So 27? 27 pies. Is it this way? Is it down the hall? I mean, what? Uh, red light's on. And I can go in? Uh, that sounds like Mr. Barrow. Oh, Holy. Oh, hello. How? Well, Mr. Look at this. Barrow. Well, it's show business in here, isn't it? Hi, Mr. Yes, Barrow. we didn't know you were coming by, Mr. Barrow. Well, uh, I didn't know either. I was uh, driving by the studio in my one-horse open sleigh, and I had tuned into the show because I thought it was going to be a show about uh, economics is supposed to be on, but then I I catch a listen to this, and I'm hearing some, uh, some ins and outs of how we do things in the <laughs> workshop going out there on the... Uh, Airwaves. Well, this is our. We do this every month, Mr. Barrow. I'm surprised you don't know about this. This is sort of our little elf wrap up of the month. I heard there was some kind of a uh, talent show, a radio internet show. I don't understand the, how the radio internet works. It's not sort of a talent show. I mean, we're not yeah. here, like, you know, doing a song and dance. It's not or, a lot well, of just as long here. as your uh, wide awake when your shift comes up, I guess, is all, I, all I'm concerned with. It doesn't <laughs> take away from your work. No, no, this is, it's all scheduled. I mean, we're, we have approval to be here. 
Okay. This is actually my day. Beatrice, whoa. I hadn't seen you without the sunglasses for a couple days. I really thought that... You've been to the infirmary, right? Yes, Mr. Barrow. You filled out a a workman's compensation form. I did, Mr. Barrow. I filled it out in triplicate, just like you said. Okay, good. I mean, it's being processed right now. Um, So we'll see how much it costs, and then we'll see what your deductible is. I mean, you understand how these things work. Um, But that's why I always say that, you know, safety is number two at the North Pole. I want it. I want it to be number one, but, you know, we know that what is number one? Cheer. Joy and cheer. Joy and cheer. Well, it's cheer. It's not joy cheer. and cheer. It's cheer. Well, it's very, it's Mr. Cheer. Claus is very specific that it's cheer. Now, listen, between you and me, I want safety to be number one because there's been a lot of slipping in reindeer magic. Yeah. And yeah. people are getting hurt. And, well, you know, I care about the people. But you know what my job is, you guys? You know what it really is, you guys? It's to watch the numbers and to make sure the productivity stays up. Santa Claus, Mr. Santa Claus, wants a 3% increase every year. And I don't even know what that really means. Right. Is that like, is that connected to the number of increasing number of people that populating the world? Well, it's a good question. That could be. The thing is, he says that, and then I think about it. Oh. And I, like every year it comes back, we are a nonprofit organization. Right. So I don't know. I'm not quite sure. It causes quite a bit of stress, especially, uh, well, I would say this time of year, but it's kind of, it's kind of a year round. Oh, yes. Yeah. For me. And Mr. Barrow, uh, how do you de-stress yourself? Is it anything like how Santa de-stresses himself out back in the... In the pool? The pool? whirlpool? Ah, uh, no. I, oh, boy, you know, someday. I'd love to have a whirlpool someday. But no, I do uh, math puzzles at home. I math like Sunduco. No, that's too much for oh. me. That's oh. that, I just feel it's fri- frivolous. I mean, right. They're wasting space in the newspaper with those. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Math isn't a game. You know, math isn't a game. I mean, it's not just all about, you know, I mean, listen, I, I'm, I'm up at night because I've got a, I've got a, a surplus of wooden train engines. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Claus loves that we make those, but I have not ha- found a child in twenty the last 20 years who even knows what one is. So I get a lot of disgruntled children out there. And so I I'm hear it from the parents. Right. So I'm, I am, again, I apologize for the overprotection of those. I was, when I was looking at the um, sheet, I, I mistook... I mistook 10 um, for 100. Well, you're lucky that the big guy loves them, you know, but it's not 1872 anymore. I mean, right. people think it's an ugly car. They don't know it's a, it's a train. Right. Could you, I, is there any way you could, like, maybe we could bury him somewhere and then just write it off as a loss? Well, it would have been a good plan, but I think we just broadcast it uh, uh, all over town. So, yeah. Listen, you guys, you do your thing and let me <laughs> worry about my thing. You guys True. have the fun. And I'll keep the engines running. <laughs> yeah, you know? fun is fun is um, relative. So, Mr. Barrow, how did you how did you get this uh, position? I mean, I know weren't you working in the workshop and you kind of worked your way up? I uh, yeah, I worked my way up. I uh, I was I started at, hey I started making coffee and sweeping floors like everybody else. It was mm-hmm. a college internship, <laughs> you know. And I thought, well, bless my stars, here I am. You know, look at me working for the big guy. Christmas all the time. And uh, one thing after another, people were laid off around me. I picked up some slack here, picked up some slack there. Next thing you know, I'm buried under slack. <laughs> 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 but I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, um, well, we know you do math puzzles. Do you, do you enjoy, like, outdoor activities when, when you... Uh... I'm not a big fan of the cold. Mm. Oh. Yeah. So I'm in a lot. I'm, I'm yeah. inside a lot. Um, August, I get out once or twice, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, the summer festival, I drop by, make an appearance, but it's still a little bitey outside for me still at that point. Yeah, you, um, you know, you, you're in charge of just so much stuff here, I am. making sure it runs. I am. Uh, you know, you've got the, the, the toy shop and the, and the yeah. reindeer, uh, you know, corral and, right. and all that other stuff. What do you find is the most uh, challenging project that you have to keep under wraps? Shenanigans. 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 I just yeah. jumped. Shenanigans. Like the most challenging thing is shenanigans. You know, people are going into into reindeer stalls that have no business being in reindeer stalls, and they're repeatedly going into the reindeer stalls, and they're interfering with the reindeer, 
and that uh, that affects efficiency, and it's just weird. It's just weird. I never knew what that th- what the term shenanigans referred to, and now I know. That's good, and I bet the audience may not have known what technically shenanigans means. Hijinks. Hi, hijinks. I do know hijinks. Horseplay. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah. Tomfoolery. Yeah. Okay. You, now you're getting on the ball. Yeah. Now you're now you're getting on the ball. Someone's management material in here. We've, I we've just won. thought I you know, Tom we've, just fools around so much that I figured Tom. He, yeah. Well, he's a crack up. I mean it was named after him. Exactly. What is the best part of your job? We've talked about the most challenging, but what do you enjoy most about your job here at the North Pole? That's a thinker. Mm. Um you know, I, I would say, uh, uh, joy, children, uh, there's the smiles on faces, um, uh, cheer, cheer, of course, cheer. I don't really see the children's faces. Um, God, boy, it's spreadsheets, man. I, you know, when, it, when a spreadsheet balances out, that I get a little special feeling then, you know, when I, uh, more numbers in the black, less in the red, you know, <laughs> makes Mr. Claus happy, makes me happy. So a happy Claus is a happy me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because he's wearing a red suit, you'd think he'd like the red. <laughs> That's not how business works, son. Uh, right. We don't want anything in the red. No. There's a, there's a triangle. There's a triangle. It's a... Uh, oh, I always forget the third one. Uh, it's cost and quality. And, oh, time. Time. He has the other one. So, yeah. you know, uh, it, you got to think of these things. It's, there's no rest. There's never rest. There's never time for fun or shenanigans or rest or Christmas or cheer uh, for me. Um, but that's Okay. I get to work here. We're right. here. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. I I enjoy working here a lot. I I do too. Beatrix, what do you think? You've been quiet for a minute. Um, I I enjoy working here, Mr. Barrow. Do you like working with the yo-yos? Yes. Yeah. You do? They don't scare you or hurt you or... Are you feel comfortable working with them? Your hands big enough to work with the? Um, well, the, certainly my hands have been a challenge mm-hmm. uh, because they are yo-yos made for children who are generally bigger than I. Right, right. And uh, well, I, I didn't tell you this either, but I, uh, I, I did knock out Benny. What? The other day. Yeah. With a yo-yo? I was, tr- I was practicing walk the dog with the yo-yo. Yeah. And it walked right up into Benny's head. Oh. He was in the infirmary with me. Is he still there? He's still there. He's in a coma? He's not in a coma. Oh, he's good. resting. Oh, he's just taking a nap? Well, It's more than a nap. It's, uh, he got so hit with the walk and the dog. I mean, it's serious business. He got bit by the dog. Yeah. He didn't get bit by the... Well, I guess he got bit by the dog. Right. I mean, in a manner of speaking. Yes. That's what we call, in my side of things, that's a two-bed day. That's when you've got two elves in a bed, and that just Ugh. doesn't that help. Doesn't help. It's, <laughs> just, it's just you and Benny working the yo-yo, so for those days... We had zero yo-yo, zero yo-yo productivity. Testing. The yo-yo, mm. the, if you have a yo-yo chart, and mm. you can just see the arrow goes down and down and down, and now it's just a flat line. It's just a flat line. So, you know, I'm, I'm getting a little concerned that come uh, in the season, we might have some defective yo-yos going out there. Hey, how many yo-yos is, is like, a, is, do we know how many yo-yos are required? 75,000 yo-yos. 75,000. Well, you know, I, I would be more than happy to step in on my day. I have a day off next week. I'll step in. And I'll gladly help pick up. Well, some there's of that some slide. gumption. There's some go-to spirit. There's some. As long as you're not too fatigued to help out over at the hotel, right? No, no, no. no of course not. I, the the hotel is is a trying job, but I it's a lot of fun, and I will be glad to help Beatrice out by going over and. Testing well, all some right. Values. That's the spirit oh, of the season. You, hey, the I, long season. Hey, I'd like to do something similar. You could stay in the mines, though. That's. Okay. You're, what you're doing in the mines is so important, because right. you are in a place. Where you are a under the ground, and right. you are b. Oh wait a minute, we transferred you. Yeah. Well, candy, we, candy in the candy cane. Right. Well, hang on I'm a second. Striping. Wait a second. I'm pulling up something on my phone here. Oh boy. Speaking of flat lines, yeah, what well, striper is down? I've had a problem with the striping. Yeah. See the the thing is like, I'm not. I'm a little shaky yeah. because I'm so um. I drink a lot of 
sugary sodas. Mm-hmm. And so I think that that affects the, the, the steadiness of my hands. Wow. And so when that happens, the lines, they go crazy. Yeah. And I can't really h- help that. I mean, what would you do? How could I not be shaky hands? Well, well, you could skip the sugary sodas. Oh. You could focus on your work. Right. You could maybe make sure you're wearing a clean outfit and not one that's got some reindeer stuff on it. Oh, yeah, the magic. It's kind of these attentions to details. That does distract Indicate to me. me that there may be other things that aren't being I's dotted and T's crossed. Right. Well, I was going to suggest that maybe on my day off, I could go back to the mines and help down there. I think maybe you should try that. I think maybe we should try a little, a little something different and maybe go visit your old buddies. That would be that would be amazing. Yeah, they're good old good old guys down there. Uh, and like when we had the bowling league, like we were all hanging around all the time. And then ever since I switched over to the candy stripers, they thought I was too good for them, and they stopped like talking to me. And and they started filling up my mailbox with coal. It's Gary, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all painting a picture with me right now because I got some from the striping department. I heard Gary. G- Gary. Okay. With okay. a G. Good. Well, uh, Mr. Perro, we need to wrap up the show here. Um, and before we do, I, I just want to uh, remind everybody that the Big Summer Festival kicks off on July 4th. So uh, I Have hope... Have fun, I, everybody. Yeah, hope everyone will... Um, I, you should maybe take a break, Mr. Perro, and come out and, and see some of the fun. Oh, that sounds that sounds like something that I, I, I can't imagine myself doing. Mm. Oh. Well, and uh, the weather forecast coming up, we've got snow uh, continuing on into tonight and then snow throughout the next week. So make sure that you uh, are prepared for that. And Mr. Barrow, thank you for this surprise drop-in yeah, on the show surprise. today. We appreciate it. Yeah, uh, 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 keep it up, guys. Gary, I'd like to speak to you after the show. If I okay. Can. okay, okay. Sure. This episode of Elf Centered was completely improvised by Jane Entwistle, Chris Sheets, Grandpa Choco, and special guest Michael Ostrom as Mr. Barrow. Visit Michael over at his website, www.michaelostrom.com. That's www.michaelostrom.com. Beatrice, Gavin, and Gary asked Mr. Barrow some very probing questions to see if they could get any more information about this murder that they've heard about. You won't believe what Mr. Barrow's response was. In order to hear it, you need to download the free Saturday Morning Media app for iOS and Android and hit the button that says bonus in the entry for this episode. For more information on how to download the app, visit www.saturdaymorningmedia.com forward slash app. This episode of Elf Centered is a production of Saturday Morning Media and was made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who have gone over to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly donation for as little as a dollar a month. Huge thanks to Shay Stewart, Mer Lafferty, Jeff Peterson, Dale Gadania, Stephen Staver, Jackie Klimo, Melissa Crawford, Chuck, Matthew Wayne Selznick, Dave Slusher of the Evil Genius Chronicles, Dorothy Pachoco, John D., Kathy Crawford, Brian Greer, Kerry Whitney, Chuck Tomasi, Chris Foster, Stephen Ng, Clinton of ComedyForecast.com, Vicky DeVries, Mike Wobshaw, and Twitter user Buttsingear, a.k.a. Wildcat. If you'd like to support this show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to Patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your donation today. You can also tell a friend about the show or leave the show a review on iTunes. If you have feedback about the show, you can send it directly to the elves over at hello at SaturdayMorningMedia.com. Be sure to put Elf Centered in the subject line. Thank you very much for tuning in. The elves will be back in one month. Elf Centered is copyright 2016 Saturday Morning Media, Grandpa Choco Executive Producer. All rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs>